Welcome to the world of agricultural and biosystems engineering. Today we are going to discuss Bing and plastic foods. Under the subject of A, B, E, 3, 1, 3. Properties of agricultural and biosystems materials. Good day everyone. Ola. Are you familiar with non-Newtonian fluids? How about Bing and plastic? Bing and plastic foods. Did you know that some of the food we eat are non-Newtonian fluids and categorized as Bingham plastic? Ever question is ketchup solid or liquid? Or why do we need to squeeze the mayo? Today we are going to discuss about Bingham plastic fluids. Can we eat it? Is it solid or liquid? But first we need to have a background, what is Bingham plastic foods? We have two types of fluids. The Newtonian and non-Newtonian fluids. In food processing, Handling can change the texture, taste, and appearance of product, and in pharmaceutical processing, maintaining delicate cell structure is vital to a medication's efficacy. As a result, the behavior of foods, beverages, and pharmaceuticals under processing conditions is a key factor to consider when assessing a system's performance. Newtonian and non-Newtonian fluid products respond differently to forces that come into play during processing. Those forces include system pressure and velocity and friction that occurs at pipe or tube surfaces. This fluid depends on viscosity moves. High viscosity has slow flow rate, while low viscosity has fast flow rate. Viscosity is a measure of a fluid's resistance to flow. In a processing system, some fluid's viscosity changes when they come in contact with, for example, a rotating impeller inside a pump. The pressure increase that the fluid encounters creates shear force on the fluid. Some liquids become less viscous, thinner, with increased shear force, while others become more viscous, thicker, with increased shear force. By comparison, a Newtonian fluid such as water does not change its viscosity, no matter how much shear occurs. While, shear is the relative motion between adjacent layers of a moving fluid. Some of the simplest examples include spreading butter on bread or applying sunscreen. In each case, one level of the liquid, butter on the knife, is moving relative to the adjacent layer, butter on the bread. This means, a Newtonian fluid's viscosity remains constant no matter the amount of shear applied for a constant temperature. These fluids have a linear relationship between viscosity and shear stress. And you can probably guess that non-Newtonian fluids are the opposite of Newtonian fluids. When shear is applied, the viscosity of non-Newtonian fluids decreases or increases, depending on the fluid. Note, temperature control is an important factor in maintaining optimum viscosity, because product viscosity can vary significantly with temperature. Some food sources, for example, have low viscosity when heated but thicken to high viscosity when cooled. Similarly, heat honey, and it pours faster than when it cools down to room temperature. But now, let's focus on non-Newtonian fluids and its behavior. Non-Newtonian fluids are essential in various applications due to their unique properties that allow them to change viscosity under different conditions. Understanding their behavior is crucial for industries ranging from food processing to material science and even geological studies. A non-Newtonian fluid has a two set, the time-dependent and time-independent. In time-independent we have 1. Dilatant or shear thickening fluid 2. Pseudoplastic or shear thinning fluid 3. Bingham plastic fluid 4. Reopectic Now we reached our destination. Let's focus on Bingham plastic foods. A Bingham plastic fluid is a type of viscoplastic material that exhibits characteristics of both a rigid body and a viscous fluid depending on the stress applied to it. This material behaves as a solid at low stresses, but transitions to flow like a liquid at higher stresses. The defining feature of a Bingham plastic is its yield stress, which is the minimum stress required for the material to start flowing. When considering the behavior of a Bingham plastic, it remains stationary until the applied stress reaches the yield point. Once this critical stress threshold is surpassed, the material starts to flow with increasing shear stress. This unique property makes Bingham plastics useful in various applications, such as modeling mud flow in drilling engineering and handling slurries. In terms of mathematical modeling, the Bingham plastic model describes the relationship between shear rate and shear stress applied to the fluid. It involves parameters, such as yield stress and plastic viscosity, to characterize its flow behavior accurately. The model allows for predicting how these fluids will behave under different conditions, making it valuable in engineering and fluid dynamics analyses. So, what is the importance of Bingham plastic fluids in food processing? 
Bingham plastic fluids play a crucial role in food processing due to their unique flow behavior characteristics. In the context of food production and handling, these fluids offer specific advantages and applications that are essential for various processes within the industry. Foods such as sauces, dressings, and certain types of batters require a specific texture and thickness for quality and consumer acceptance. Bingham plastic fluids, with their yield stress property, allow manufacturers to maintain a desired consistency until a certain stress threshold is reached, ensuring uniformity in product quality. Another key importance of Bingham plastic fluids in food processing for shelf stability and product quality. They enhance visual appeal and consumer experience by maintaining a stable structure until a specific stress level is applied, ensuring product integrity during storage, packaging, and distribution. And lastly, their versatility in providing tailored flow behavior makes them valuable assets in different stages of food production, from ingredient handling to final product packaging. What are the foods that characterized Bingham Plastics fluid? Mayonnaise is a classic example of a Bingham Plastic fluid. It has a certain threshold stress that must be exceeded before it flows, giving it its characteristic thick and creamy texture. Chocolate, certain types of chocolate, especially when melted and then cooled, can exhibit Bingham plastic behavior due to their viscosity and flow properties. Ketchup, ketchup also behaves as a Bingham plastic fluid. It stays in place until a certain force is applied, after which it flows easily. Peanut butter, peanut butter is another example of a Bingham plastic fluid. It requires some initial force to start flowing smoothly. Icing, Icing used in baking can also resemble Bingham plastics, as they require spreading or piping after reaching the right consistency. Another examples for Bingham plastic fluids are mustard, custard, guacamole, beaten egg whites, and so many more. This is the end of our discussion. Anne Young. Thank you for watching.